Hey YouTube, ShaBear1000 here. What we're going to do today is we're going to change out this every time traffic. We're going to change this uh, water softener out. It's a Fleck 500 series. First thing I got to do is I've got to cut these lines. I've already got the water shut off. I got to cut this line and then. And this line down here and then I've got to unhook this and then I can get it out of there and switch them lines over uh, monkey went to go get some PVC cement so because uh, ours dried up I don't know how the lid was on and it was on tight so whoops I got to hit the mic so what I'm gonna do is I was gonna try to get to where you can see me do this but and there's a salt container down there uh, it's not working right now what I think the problem is this valve right here it's not working uh, as you can see though maybe a little wet there it's got a little leak somewhere up in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this out. I'm going to cut them lines off, guys, and I'm going to get back with you here in just a second. And I'll show you. Uh, garage is a mess, sorry. And we're going to be putting this one in. So, but what I was talking about was this valve right here. Now I can get this whole head unit for like 120 bucks, but um, a preacher at a church gave this one to me today. Uh, they had two of them. And when they went to city water, they just took them out of service. So hopefully, this one will be a lot better. Uh, I don't know if this motor's running or not. It feels like it is. It feels a little warm, but they're hard to hear. That other one over there, you could hear it. But it's a new motor. Well, fairly new. So I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and change the motors on these. So anyway, guys. I'm going to shut you off right here, but I will be right back in just a second, okay? And I'll let you see what I'm doing. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. Now, what I did was I couldn't get you back here to see. But like I said, I cut this off, the old one, and I just put another coupler there, a reducer. And I did the same thing back down here now this one all I did was put a coupler on it I just cut the pipe in half blew the coupler on checked for leaks it is in service now what come on focus try to get this to focus for you huh it's not focusing anyway guys you can see it's in service. Now what you're going to want to do is set your time. Now this, let me shut this light off for a second here. Yeah, and you can't see nothing. That figures. What you're going to want to do, after you put this in here, you want to set your timer. Okay, let's see. Now down here at the bottom right there, it's 9 o'clock, which is, well, it's about 5 minutes after. So yeah, it's about 5 after 9. Now in order to set that, let me see if I can do this for you. Is you push this button in, and that's how you set your time right there. I guess it's about five minutes after nine. So now, once you release that button, just turn your gear until that pops, just like that. Now, what this is over here, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a little arrow and there's some numbers here. This is 12 days. You can have it um, regenerate itself every 12 hours, every 6 hours, whatever you want. But what I've got it set for is the 7th day. Every Friday, this thing's going to regenerate at midnight. I'm always up Fridays at midnight, so it's going to regenerate at midnight. Uh, next Friday, it'll regenerate and it will clean itself out and all that it will now down here i forgot to put my little hose on so i got kind of a little mess i'll have to clean up but 
no big deal anyway that's how you do I did change motor there's only two wires on the back of this motor right here that's all there is doesn't matter which one and of, well of course you know you got your round but just to change motor just change these uh, just uh, clip them two wires and uh, change your motor and hook them back up but there you go guys I don't know if you can see that I'm sorry I guess macros not working on this thing or something I don't know why it's not. I've had nothing but problems. Technical problems here lately and I don't know what's going on. So anyway there's that noise, that gurgling noise you may have heard. It's this thing doing its little job there draining out like it should. And there's the salt. Now on the back of these they have a little thing here you set for how much Damn, why is this thing not? Sorry, guys. Anyway, it'll tell you pounds of salt. Okay, I had this one set on 12. I had about 12 pounds of salt in it. So, if you can hear it gurgling, it's, it's doing its thing. But to set that, you just, uh, you take a little screwdriver and you turn that and set it to wherever you want it. But... Right now, I've probably got, yeah, I've got about 12 pounds of salt in there. But anyway, guys, there you go. That's how you do it. Sorry I couldn't get you back in there to cut those lines and everything like that. But as you can see, it's in service. It's working. Uh, no leaks. So we're good. So like I said, that thing's going to regenerate itself. Uh, every Friday at midnight, I may change that and just regenerate it myself once a week. But, and now after you do this, guys, make sure, you know, you run your water, all spigots, everything for, you know, a good 20 minutes. You know, make sure it's all cleaned out. And, um, and like I said, make sure you regenerate this. You know, you can turn this knob to start regenerating itself. It'll get a rinse. It'll get a backwash. And then it comes around, chem chemical draw. And then it will come around to rapid rinse and then settle rinse and then finally come back around to service. That's what it does when it regenerates itself. It goes through all them cycles. Uh, it takes about an hour to do that. I just went ahead and let it run itself. At 8 o'clock is when I turned it on. So it's done now, but I just wanted to show you that. So guys, thanks for watching. Sorry about the poor video. I don't know what's going on with this camera. It will not focus. I don't know. I'm not sure about that, guys. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And um, tomorrow night, I'm going to try to get a challenge done. My niece uh, sent me a challenge. So anyway, guys, there you go. Now I'm going to hook that in to the drain pipe back there. The one right below the white one, the black pipe there right there i'm gonna hook it into that so it drains outside and there you go so again guys thanks for watching have a great weekend and i'll see you guys soon shea bear i'm gone bye bye guys